I was wounded back to back twice in three months, uh, once in Ukraine and once uh, on the southern Lebanese border with Israel. My name is Dylan Collins. I'm a video journalist uh, based in Beirut with AFP. I've been living and working in the Middle East for 15 years uh, and covering conflict for about 10 of those years. And with AFP, I've done a ton of missions. The war in Ukraine and uh, most recently uh, the escalation along the Lebanese border uh, with Israel. The day the, uh, the full-scale invasion started in Ukraine, I was covering uh, a Ukrainian protest in, in Beirut and I got a call from my boss saying, Pack your bag, uh, get ready to go. Uh, we need to send. We need you in, in Ukraine. I flew to Warsaw and I met up with uh, my colleagues uh, Arman Solidan and uh, Dimitar Telkov, and we got in a car and started heading towards the border. We crossed from Poland into Ukraine on this about midnight of the second day of the war. Um, super cold, and there was just streams of people trying to get out of Ukraine. We, we entered. We were just watching a, a country kind of implode and collapse on itself uh, uh, because of this surprise full-scale uh, attack. And we spent about three days trying to make it to Kyiv. And when we got in, it was block by block, all of these makeshift checkpoints, it flipped over cars, shopping carts, guys with AK-47s, some with, like, with no weapons, everyone kind of doing the, 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 the neighborhood watch, on the lookout for uh, Russian infiltrators, basically. And we had to start figuring out how to, how to work there. At first, we didn't have cars, we didn't have drivers, we didn't have translators. We had left the bureau because it's close to the presidential palace and we thought maybe that could be a target of an attack. So we, we were kind of posted up in a hotel. We very quickly became a, a unit, like a, a family unit, eating together, covering in very risky situations. Three weeks into the invasion, uh, Russians were making progress on either side of the city and, and really it looked like they were going to try to encircle Kyiv. Um, we started wondering if we were going to be besieged, if we were going to be stuck there and there were some serious conversations about um, should we stay, should we go, um, what's the right call, what's the safest call. All of us covering at that moment decided we wanted to stay because uh, because that's, that's the job and that's how you tell the story. I think if you're not afraid, go into conflict zones and uh, there's probably, a, it's a problem. Um, I think fear is important and it's, uh, it helps you measure risk and uh, it motivates you, um, it keeps you alert, but uh, you have to feel it. We, we lost a colleague, Arman, a couple months after him, I was wounded uh, in, in a super similar uh, incident. It's a, it's a reminder of how, how dangerous our, our, our job can be and, uh, and the risks we take to tell the story. I was wounded back to back twice in three months. Uh, once in Ukraine and once uh, on the southern Lebanese border with Israel. The second strike was a, was a double tap targeted attack against uh, journalists. I almost died in Ukraine. We lost a colleague in Lebanon. Our colleague Christina Asi lost her legs. I think get, getting wounded is uh, it's not just traumatizing for you uh, and facing your own potential death. It's traumatizing for your friends and your family, for your colleagues, for your loved ones. I think I ask myself every day if I'm doing the right thing or if this is the, if this is the right profession for me, if it's, a, if it's a selfish thing. And you never know uh, when the right time is to go, to go back to the field, to go back to the front line, to, to take those risks, risks again. Uh, there's never uh, a clear answer. I cannot deny that it is in this innate urge in my core to, to, to witness history, to document it, to, to be in it, and to record history for those that aren't there, for them to see it and, and learn from it and witness it too, I think is powerful.